This will be for the con exercise point slope form. So the equation for point slope form, that is going to be y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So we are plugging in the slope in place of m and we're plugging in one point in place of x1 and y1 okay as you know when you write a point the x coordinate is first and the y coordinate is second so one point gets plugged in and the slope gets plugged in okay and in case you don't recall the formula for the slope is just the change in y over the change in x okay that triangle is a greek letter delta so that just means change in y over change in x if you want to expand this you can say y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Okay, that's the slope formula. And the order that you subtract the numbers doesn't matter so long as you do each one going in the same direction. For instance, if this is point one, then this would be point two. Okay, so this would be x1, y1, and x2, y2. So you want to keep x1 with y1. You keep x2 with y2. Other than that, the order doesn't matter. All right, so they want us to complete the point slope form equation and use exact numbers. So first, let's find the slope of these two numbers. All right, the slope formula, y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So the order you subtract doesn't matter, but you have to go the same way. Let's do the y's first. I am going to do seven minus zero. Okay, remember the y coordinate is always the second number in the coordinate. So seven minus zero. And now we have to subtract going the same way with the x's. So the x is the first one, negative five, minus negative four, negative five minus negative four. Seven minus zero is seven. Two negatives in a row make it positive. And negative five plus four is negative one. Okay, positive divided by negative is going to be a negative, and 7 divided by negative 1 is just negative 7. So that is the slope, M. Now, I want to match the point-slope equation with what they have here. So this is going to be y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Now, if you remember at the beginning, I said for x1 and y1, we can use either point. However, they already started the equation for us. So we have to use the same one they did. Okay, and here we have y minus seven, y minus y1. We can clearly see that y1 equals 7. Okay, so we have to use the point where y equals 7. And you can see here y equals 0. So we're not using this one. On this one here, y equals 7. So if y1 equals 7, that means x1 has to be negative 5. Okay, so x1 is negative 5. And that's going to get plugged in right in there. Okay. And we said M was negative seven. 
So let's finish this off here. In place of M, I'm going to put negative 7. Okay, so just type negative 7. And then you want to type the parentheses. Okay, type the X inside the parentheses. And then do minus x1. They said x1 is negative 5, so it's going to be minus negative 5 inside the parentheses. Minus negative 5. Okay. I'm pretty sure they accept the answer like that. Really, we know that two negatives in a row make it positive. But let me just see if this works. Okay. But just so you know, the two negatives really make it positive. Let me see if this works. Okay, so they did accept it, okay, but just so you know, if you have two negatives in a row, it's positive. So that was the final answer. Okay, why don't you pause and try this one and see if you can find the slope at least and then see if you can figure out from this here which point they use to start the equation. Okay, for the slope change in y, we're going to subtract the y's. I'll go the other way this time just to prove it to you. The y coordinate is the second number. So I'm going to do 2 minus negative 1. And then for the x's, you got to go the same way. 5 minus positive 1. So that's just 5 minus 1. Two negatives in a row is positive. Two plus one is three. Five minus one is four. So that is your slope, M. Now match this equation with the point slope equation. Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1. Okay, so here we have y minus negative 1. So clearly we can see that y1 is negative 1. All right, if y1 is negative 1, which one has negative 1 for the y? Well, clearly that's this one right here. So if y1 is negative 1, then x1 must be positive 1. Okay, y1 is negative 1, and x1 is positive 1. So that's what we're going to use for the equation. All right, m we said was 3 fourths. So that would go there. And then x minus x1, x1 is just 1. Okay, so for x1... We're going to use 1, and you just put that in the box. So we're going to enter 3 fourths times parentheses x minus 1. All right, click in the box. 3 slash 4 gives me 3 fourths. Click the right arrow key to bring it back up and use the parentheses and just type x minus 1. Okay, it closes the parentheses for you. So that's it, 3 fourths times x minus 1. All right, so that's basically it. You find the slope and it goes right here. And then you use this part of the equation to determine which of the two points you're plugging in.